which started approximately 55 years ago. Uh, we make wooden coat hangers and all, all descriptions of coat hangers actually. From there we moved into display equipment and shop fittings. The next progression to that was the mannequin side of things which happened to fall upon a couple of years ago and we purchased two plaster and paper mache mannequins, did these up and then moved into uh, the restoration work of fiberglass mannequins and from there, uh, well it's limited just to the imagination. This one over here has had a head removed at some stage and we've fiberglassed that back on again and then they work through into our painting area where we respray and finally into makeup. Every day brings something different into the hangar factory in the way of uh, mannequins such as these ones that have come in for repair. They're a far cry from our original plaster and paper mache model that we keep here for the history books, uh, such as these action and more sophisticated models. Um, the colours of course vary from uh, in toning to do with the seasons from summer through to winter. Um, this one is probably more suitable towards a uh, sports store or something similar to that. From here we should go through into the spray painting area and I'll show you how the mannequins are resprayed. This is Stefan, our makeup artist. To paint a face, you have to start with the color as close as possible to that of the body of the mannequin. This stage is cr crucial and deadly important. It is more complicated that, than you might think it is. You need a gentle touch. I apply body color with this brush and remove excess paint with tissues. Then I have to prepare the colors for the shadows on the cheeks, under the eyes and of course lips. These colors depend on what kind of mood is required. This one is for a bridal boutique. Her neck and cheek are like the Madonna's. You can see how she glows with anticipation. She is the most beautiful female. She has eternal beauty and is beyond the reach of death. Here we are in the spray department where Robert is about to work on a mannequin here. Firstly he'll apply the texture back onto the skin followed by an undercoat and finally with the finished colour that's requested by the customer.